Good morning, church. Happy Sunday. Happy Feast of All Saints, the Solemnity of All Saints. And I pray that you're having a good weekend, a safe weekend. And I pray that you are always working on knowing that you are blessed. In other words, by being rooted in God in the message of life of Christ, we benefit, which is what being blessed is. So God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and that's his nature. And that's our nature too. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus, be with you always. My brothers and sisters, let us draw ourselves close to Jesus, as the saints used this faith, this belief, this rootedness in Christ as their foundation, in their poverty, in their meekness, in their persecutions, in their endurance, but always, not so much to get to heaven, but because they really knew an experience of intimacy, which they then, of course, believed was God. saints who from their labors rest will you by faith before the world confess your name O Jesus be forever blessed Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O oh, blessed communion, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one within your great design. Alleluia, Alleluia. The golden evening brightens in the west, soon to the loyal faithful comes their rest. Sweet is the calm of paradise so blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. But lo, there breaks a yet more glorious day. The saints triumphant rise in bright array. The King of glory passes on his way. Alleluia, Alleluia. From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of heaven, streams in the countless hosts, singing to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord God, we put ourselves before you. As your creation, we have a plan. Apples are apples, oranges are oranges. For who we are in Christ, in whom you call us to become as a gift, and in our poverty, Lord, have mercy. And Christ God, you are humanness perfected. Not stinky rich, not stinky famous, not stinky powerful, but true. Wealthy in feeling blessed and called. Wealthy in being around others whom you could share yourself to, even to the point of persecution. And for the times we fail to see our lives in the same manner or perhaps have not yet grown to be aware of the help that comes with the Lord, when in fact we do feel worthless, we do feel valueless, or we've made someone else feel that way. Christ, have mercy. In spirit, God, in you we move and live. In you, you live and move in us. To the breathing of air that is clean, for the eating of food that is healthy we give great we give deep gratitude for and we ask you for an increase in us of an awareness of desire we desire to desire your spirit your goodness your values to flow from us to live in us to be us lord have mercy and may almighty god have mercy on us he forgives us our sins leads us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Father, on this day we recall how Christ was our experience in the lives of our saints, those lives that we were baptized in, in our baptismal names perhaps confirmed in, and that we wish to model as someone we can resonate with which means someone that you resonate with us in, in. May we look to saints as a model of, of being rooted, of having seen you in their intimacies in life and banking on that in times of danger and stress which are examples to us of you today when we need strength and relief. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The readings of Scripture. Our first reading is from the book of Revelations of the New Testament. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power, though, to damage the land and the seas. He said, do not damage the land or the seas or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, one hundred and 44,000 marked from every tribe of the children of Israel. And after this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every race, nation, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white and holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from living in our God, who lives in us and who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might, be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? 
I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. And he said to me, These are the ones who have survived the times of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's dig into that word as we look at Psalm 24. Lord, I long to see your face. children of God, yet so we are. And the reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we shall be has not yet been revealed, because we're still becoming. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor. Come to me, all you who are burdened. And I will give you rest, says the Lord. I give you to each other to be my rest. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. And when Jesus saw the crowd, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him, and he taught them, saying, Blessed, happy will you be when you are poor in spirit. Yours will be the kingdom. And happy, how blessed are you when, when you are mourning. For now, you will know what it is to be comforted. And how blessed, how happy are you, meek. The whole world is yours. You'll inherit the land. And how blessed, how happy will you be when you hunger and thirst for righteousness. Ah, now you'll know what it's like to be satisfied. Blessed, happy are you merciful, for you'll be shown mercy in return. Happy, blessed are you clean of heart, for in so being you will see God. How happy are you, even you peacemakers. You will be called children of God. And how blessed, how happy are you, persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. And even blessed and happy will you be when they insult you, persecute you, utter every kind of evil against you falsely, because you're in me. Rejoice and be glad, your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh man, I'm blessed, which means I have benefited from my faith life. That's why I became a priest. I saw so many people in when I was especially distressed, when I was felt like I was being screwed over, when I screwed myself over, when I was arrested, uh, when I couldn't pay my tuition, when mom couldn't pay my tuition, or I couldn't pay back mom, um, or I didn't pay my tuition because I had to give it to mom instead, which was my choice. You know, people stepped forward and without me even asking, and helped me out. That's probably why I became a priest. I still remember those people. A lot of them, rich, rich people. But there was a poverty about them. There was a, a meekness about them. There was a, a, a stability about them that they didn't get there by themselves. They recognized in gratitude how they got there by the love of God, you know. People, even when they mourned, when they were meek, when they were hungry and thirsty. It was in that disposition that they were able to benefit. Hey, if you're full of yourself, you're not hungry. So how can you have received with even love in your life if you're full of yourself? And how can you give love in your life? Because then you lose some of yourself and you don't want to do that because you chose to be full of yourself, blah, 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 blah. All right. But you know, in these nine Beatitudes, by the way, and by the way, Jesus, Beatitudes weren't new. There were like about, about 50 of them in the Old Testament. Though everyone remembers commandments, uh, Jesus brought Beatitudes. Four of these were like reassurances um, of, of negative realities to be poor, but, but be ensured that you're not going to get screwed up along the way. The next three or four are basic Beatitudes, mercy and um, be peacemakers, uh, pure of heart. Then you come down to the last two, which is really the kicker for me, which is blessed are you when you're persecuted for being righteous, Nick, and blessed are you when they plot against you when you're just trying to do good stuff. That happens. I've seen it happen. And for me, saints today are people who allow that to happen to themselves going into these situations that are dangerous, but knowing that no matter what happens, good or bad, for them, 
it's going to be good for others. I don't know any love in life where there's not sacrifice. I don't know any love in life where there is not doubt, where there is not need. I don't know any love in life that isn't somehow threatened by the rapidity of change or sickness or selfishness or my way or the highway. I've known so many good, good, good religious men and women and, and spiritual men and women who weren't religious just by seeing the goods that they do. And I judge a tree by its fruit. And luckily, the fruit that hung from them was good. Oh, I've seen some nasty fruit. <laughs> I've seen some fruit trees that say they're the best and they're as sour as wine in hell. And that's, I guess, life. But I choose to remember the good, especially a saint that reminds me, it's a gal named Sister Dorothy Stang. She's not a canonized saint. Her brother was in my church at St. Saint, at saint Agatha's. Actually, he was ordained a priest. He left the priesthood and married a wonderful woman, had a great family. And his, his sister Dorothy was a sister, a religious nun, in the Amazon. And in the Amazon, she was murdered by farmers who were trying to protect their interests, of course, but sister was trying to protect the people who lived in the forest. And the, the people that killed her were cutting down the forest for money, but they were also taking away people's livelihood, lives, shelter, protection. And she said, no, 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 no. And they, and uh, that just didn't happen on a fluke. They were after her for a long time, but she still kept going. I want to thank all you out there who have been saints to me. Oh, not perfect, not holier than thou. Uh, just like myself, not perfect, not holier than thou. Hardly a wow. But who have helped me, who have been my source of God and strength in relationship, in friendship. There's no way, if you don't follow the rules, that I will ever shun you. Uh, I don't follow them either. And I don't know too many of them anymore. But I follow what's in my heart, and I see through my heart, through my eyes, and I see the goodness of all people really trying and striving. That's what I vote for. I vote for goodness. I vote for anyone who, as God's elect, as your God's elect, who elects in their life to increase the plateaus of others, that increases the rootedness of others, the foundation of others, not inflicting poverty, not inflicting grieving and mourning, not afflicting hunger and thirst, because that's the way to God, but to say, this is what's good, and when the other crap of life hits the fan, I'm going to be there for you. Not as a government, not as a politic, not even as an institutional church, but as one who's been blessed himself. I was asked to introduce Christopher and give a little bit of a, a timeline on his life. And uh, it's hard to keep my composure uh, talking about Christopher's story. But he was born in May of uh, 2011. 2001. 2001. <laughs> Thank you. You can tell him, you can do it better than I can. I have to go back a few years, yeah. And he. It, his mother was on, on drugs, Oxycontin and cocaine, and uh, he was a, a nephew of ours. And we went down to Florida and took him out of the foster care system in uh, August of 2002. And uh, he's been a blessing to our family, and uh, he, he loves to share his gifts. And this March he was kind of discovered by the Union Leader and all the local media outlets in Boston. And uh, he's, uh, he's been singing a lot of patriotic songs, but to 
To back up a few years, when in 2004, Christopher was on our, his first mission trip with Eight Days of Hope. And at four years old, he went down to the front of the, uh, the music ministry and uh, they handed him a microphone and he sang the song he's going to sing tonight, Open the Eyes of My Heart.
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mary and Joseph.
creation through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer you which earth is given human hands have made may become for us the bread of life in the cup of our salvation blessed be God forever the Lord be with you lift up your lives let us give thanks to the Lord our God it's right and just father to recognize give you credit for the life we live and move and breathe in all creation rightly gives you thanks as we strive to become how we mirror the body and blood of Christ we honor the Saints today you give us as examples of beautiful love and kindness of an intimacy in which they gave you praise and glory and recognition which upheld them through difficult times so that others may share in this joy which is why we join with them in Christ in you as holy 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 Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And Lord, you are holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through our Lord Jesus Christ by the coming of your Holy Spirit. Same that same Spirit that you sent on the waters of the creation upon this bread and wine and make them holy. As they and we strive to become who we were created to become, the body and blood of Christ at this table at this moment in giving life, in recovering, in persevering. So when at last he gave his life to set us free at the table with his disciples, he took himself in the Passover bread, but he was the new Passover, passed through, with, in, and among. In unity he gave himself to his disciples, and he said, Take and eat you. This is my body which will be given up for you. Then he took a cup of wine again he gave you thanks and praise gave himself in the wine to his disciples saying take this and drink of it this is the cup of my blood the blood of a new and everlasting covenant it will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven do this in memory of me When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, as you come in life again. So, Father, calling to mind and heart and will the life, the death, the resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, how those saints canonized remembered in our own lives how they were extensions and continuations of that very same Christ give us that blessedness give us the desire to be you more and more to see like you to hear like you to care like you to comfort like you to be strong like you to be dedicated like you to just be ourselves to just be you Remember all the saints that you have given us in life. Remember those who have died. Welcome them at your table. And as we strive now to become the body and blood of Christ, may we take time to be his elect and not choose those things that would lessen that for ourselves or for others as the ultimate value. The ultimate plan in Christ Jesus our Lord because it's only when we are through with and in Christ with each other in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours and ours in the world's forever and ever Let's pray that prayer that has been prayed by the saints for centuries. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy is your name. 
Your kingdom is at hand. May we become in your kingdom here now and in heaven. Please give us what we need to become you. Give us this day also the bread that we need to live. Free us from all sin. Forgive us our trespasses. Give us nourishment to connect those who have trespassed against you, against us. And lead us not into the temptations of greed, alienation of others, and hatred and division, of judgmental, rash judgment, as we strive to become our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, and only yours, by which we live and choose, now and forever. Amen. So the peace of Christ be with you all. You are God's elect. Christ gave his life in choosing you as the elect that will continue. He promises his spirit, the paraclete, one greater than he. May you be the one. May we be together and make us all feel connected. So peace be with you. And do not bring wrath to a house where there is no peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And by the mingling of this body of blood, may we come to live in the fullness of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus. Again, present among us is Christ. Happy are we who become who we eat. Lord, I'm not worthy to, enter, to be under your roof. You're so far more loving than I am. But that's why I'm here, to become more loving. That's why I vote, to become more loving. That's why I live, to become more living, loving. And that's why I think I'm happy. Because I'm fulfilled and better off because of your truth.
Let us pray. So, Father, we have seen so many resurrections in our day. We weren't there for Christ and Jesus' Christ resurrection, but we were there for Christ's resurrection. We've seen nations, people, individuals, uh, cultures condemned rise up because of faith in you and the assurances and the presence of each other. May we focus on how we can raise up and not knock down. And may we not choose anything that just raises only us in excluding others. You make us great because you gift us, which is why we're blessed. We, we recognize the benefit. And may we realize our ultimate goal in life is to make others feel blessed. Charity begins at home. But then, home, it bounds, abounds. So raise us up, Lord, in Christ Jesus. And may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us live as resurrection, as we ask to be raised up, and raise up others in Christ, in Christ. Thanks be to God. Let's take it from our hearts and spread it wide. Now bring this one out for my brothers and sisters. My neighbors. We got a lot for the end. Yeah. Put together we can do this. It's a Caribbean collaboration. All my brothers and sisters. Let the love flow, let the love show. And now this thing starts. It's all about strength. Let's ride. Life, pressure, struggle, strain Must stand together, let us show that the pain Me can't tell your witness, blood around down the drain Me can't stand helpless and a half a ear No, I would never ever turn and walk away When we stop and take a good, good look in at your face No time for waste if I make my brother's keeper I'm his enemy, so now I got to stretch and I'm a soul deeper How can I stop my heart from breaking? What can I do to ease the pain? How can I stop the earth from shaking? Searching for strength to keep me safe. What can we do to make it better? Is it too late for us to try? Now I rethink the things I treasure A fragment of hope is in these eyes We shall rise again We shall rise and spread our wings once again We shall rise again With the help of our brothers and we friends We shall rise again Again. We shall rise again Take a bit of help from our family and friends A moment of change and now we're spinning No warning is sent, no reason why We gather our strength and we all are willing Put together now To do what it takes to save Tragedy came and really gave us a chance to show. Chance to show we really care. We one and the same. We are neighbors. The burden is all for us to bear. We shall rise again. Again, coming from the bottom Come together and let's solve the problem Problem, problem
problem, everybody got them Fuck them, I make the money so they don't wanna solve it In the days and the nights we'll fall But I know we'll carry on Now it's time for us to stay strong So let's come together We shall rise